Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss the example for limits and continuity. So the function of f is defined by fx, where we have 2 over square root of 2 minus x with the domain x less than 0. If the value of x is equal to 0, then the function will be square root of 2. If the domain is x greater than 0, and then the function will be 4 over x multiplied with square root 2 plus x minus square root of 2. Show that the limit when x approaching 0 for the function fx exists. So before we begin the discussion, kindly illustrate the situation in a number line. So where we have a 0, based on the piecewise function, for the left hand side we have 2 over square root of 2 minus x. If it's a 0, then the function will be square root of 2 and followed by 4 over x multiplied with square root of 2 plus x minus square root of 2. First, we have to show that x approaching 0 for the function fx limit exists. Second one, we have to know is the function fx continuous at x equals to 0. So kindly focus on the question limits when x approaching 0 from the left for the function. Kindly focus on the left. We have 2 over square root of 2 minus x. So kindly substitute the value of 0 and we will have 2 over square root of 2. Rationalizing the denominator by multiply with the conjugate, so where we will have square root of 2 is the conjugate. Simplify the situation where we will have 2 multiply with square root of 2 over 2. So finally, we have the answer square root of 2. Limits when x approaching 0 from the left for the function 2 over square root of 2 minus x, the value of y is approaching square root of 2. Next, kindly focus on limits when x approaching 0 from the right for the function 4 multiply with square root of 2 plus x minus square root of 2 over x. If we substitute 0 and we will obtain 0 over 0 which is what we call the indeterminate form. So there are three types of strategy that we can use in order to solve this kind of situation. Number one, multiply by the conjugate. Number two, factorize the situation. Number three, long division. So my suggestion would be multiply by the conjugate. So limits when x approaching 0 from the right. So 4 multiply with square root of 2 plus x minus square root of 2 over x. So the conjugate will be square root of 2 plus x plus square root of 2 over square root of 2 plus x plus square root of 2. So do remember, only expand for one part. So in here, which is the numerator? Limits when x approaching 0 from the right. Kindly expand the situation. So 4 bracket, we will have 2 plus x. Then plus square root of 2 multiply square root of 2 plus x minus square root of 2 multiply with 2 plus x. Next, negative 2 over x multiplied with square root of 2 plus x plus square root of 2. Kindly simplify the situation. So limits when x approaching 0 from the right, 4 bracket. So in here, we have 2 minus 2, 0. Then we'll obtain 0 for this part as well. So finally, we will have x over 
x multiply with square root of 2 plus x plus square root of 2. We have a common terms, so we need to simplify the situation. So finally, we will have 4 over square root of 2 plus square root of 2 equals to 4 over 2 square root of 2. In order to rationalize the denominator, we need to multiply with the conjugate, which is square root of 2. So 4 multiply with square root of 2 over 4. So finally, limits when x approaching 0 from the right for the function fx, then the value of y will be approaching square root of 2. Kindly refers to the situation. So limit when x approaching 0 from the left for the function fx is it equals to limits when x approaching 0 from the right for the function fx? The answer is yes, it is the same. So meaning that limits when x approaching 0 for the function fx, the value of y is approaching square root of 2. So meaning that the limit exists for this part. Next, what we have to do is determine whether the function of fx is continuous and x equals to 0. So kindly refers to the situation. The condition for the continuity, number 1, f a is defined. Number 2, limits when x approaching a for the function fx exists. Number 3, f a is equals to limits when x approaching a for the function fx. Then only we can say it, fx is continuous at x equals to a. So number one, f0. Kali refers to the number line. If f0, the answer will be square root of 2. Step 2. Limits when x approaching 0 for the function fx, the value of y approaching square root of 2, and it exists. Step number 3. The f0, is it equals to limits when x approaching 0 for the function fx? The answer in here is yes. It is equals. So as a conclusion, so in here, fx is continuous at x equals to 0. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to this channel and share this video to your friend. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.